Starting on May 10th of 2021, Palestinian forces have launched thousands of rockets targeting primarily civilian populations in Israel. But this is nowhere near the first time that Palestine has launched rockets at Israel. In fact, this has been going on since at least 2001. These blatant attacks on civilian populations have been widely condemned by the international community. They have been labeled as terrorist attacks by the United Nations and the European Union. Not only that, but human rights groups such as the Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International have called these attacks war crimes. But despite the condemnation from so many of these organizations across the globe, Israel continues to be attacked by these terrorist organizations. So in response to this clear and present danger against Israeli populations, Israel began a research and development program known as the Iron Dome. This ground-based missile defense system has been in action since 2011, and recently, starting in May 10th, Palestine has once again started launching rockets into Israeli population centers. Since May 10th of 2021, Hamas has launched over 3,000 rockets at Israeli population centers, meaning for these populations, their last line of defense very much literally is this Iron Dome missile defense system. And it's under these terrible circumstances that we once again are able to see this missile defense system on full display for the world to see with dozens of videos surfacing from Israel showing how the Iron Dome defends its Israeli population. So let's take a closer look at the fascinating technology behind the Iron Dome and what makes an effective missile defense system. Like I mentioned earlier, the Iron Dome is a ground-based missile defense system. This system utilizes what's known as surface-to-air missiles, commonly referred to as SAMs. And the SAM that the Iron Dome uses is called the Tamir. The Tamir missile uses an active radar seeker in conjunction with a command data link unit on the ground to track down and destroy incoming rockets. And if you're not familiar with how radar works, make sure you check out my stealth aircraft video that explains in detail what radar is. But it's all this technology together that allows the Tamir to track down and get incredibly precise measurements about where the incoming rockets are being fired from, what their trajectory is, and how to intercept it best. All of this technology working together with the missile's onboard autopilot allow the missile to get incredibly close to the rockets. Once the Tamir gets close enough to its target, it sets off a charge that detonates the warhead. This technology is known as a proximity fuse, and as I mentioned, how it works is when a missile gets close enough to its target, it automatically detonates the warhead, making sure that it has the optimal hit. For instance, if a missile were to miss its target, it could still detonate and still destroy the target. As opposed to a hit to kill missile, which requires the missile to run into its target, requiring a lot more precise navigation, a much better seeker, and has a lot more room for error. Most modern missiles use a proximity fuse to increase lethality and accuracy. As an added redundancy, oftentimes the Iron Dome will fire two missiles at a target, ensuring that one of them will hit the target and when the target is destroyed, the other missile will self-detonate. The Iron Dome is specifically designed to defend against short-range rockets and artillery shells. The Iron Dome can also respond to multiple targets simultaneously while also being an all-weather system. Each Iron Dome battery is capable of protecting an urban population of an area of about 150 square kilometers. Currently, Israel has 10 operational batteries with the batteries containing three to four launchers in each battery, and each launcher can launch up to 20 missiles at a time. During its operational lifespan, the Iron Dome has proved to be 90% effective, deterring tens of thousands of missiles coming across their borders into Israeli urban centers. There's little doubt that the Iron Dome has literally saved thousands of lives. Critics of the system do point out a couple flaws in the Iron Dome as a system. For instance, the Iron Dome could be more vulnerable to more sophisticated weaponry such as longer range rockets, more maneuverable missiles, or even a massive amount of rockets. For instance, Hezbollah is reported to have over 100 thousand rockets, which would certainly overwhelm the Iron Dome after a certain time period. But if you want to learn more about the basics of missile technology and how they work, make sure you let me know down in the comments below if you want to hear something about that in the future. 
and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And if you really love the channel and you want to support it, make sure you check out my Patreon where I have exclusive content. For instance, a live Q&A session, access to my B-roll, an aerospace engineering job search tool, and 40 other pieces of exclusive content already up on my Patreon. So please check it out. Thank you so much for watching and Godspeed.